Brandon Vega, and my research critique was on social capital, the similarities and differences between uh, future educators and uh, youth leaders uh, living in urban communities. Um, in this study, um, it was discovered that there were, you know, not that many differences, but a lot of similarities between uh, those who may not, you know, come from an urban environment and those who live in an urban environment. Um, as human beings, uh, social capital plays a pivotal role in all of our lives, uh, despite, you know, where we may come from. However, um, there are differences in social capital, uh, depending upon, you know, where you reside. Um, you know, social capital plays a, a huge role in human life. And um, this particular topic was interesting to me because uh, I had never heard of social capital before I en uh, enrolled in grad school. And um, once I got wind of it and I started to learn a little bit more about it, you know, I became interested. I mean, who isn't interested uh, with the word capital uh, in it? Um, anything that has anything to do with capital, I believe that we, you know, all, you know, somehow, some way find interest uh, in it and, and trying to, uh, you know, accumulate it. Um, again, going back to the, you know, research, uh, the research um, critique paper, um, it was a very um, interesting, you know, study. Uh, the study was only... Uh, used in the Northeast region. However, um, you know, it was very limited um, with what it could provide as far as information because, uh, you know, the Northeast region has nothing to do with the Southeast region or the Northwest region or the, you know, West Coast or, you know, Southwest, anything of, of that nature. Um, you know, if the study could have been a little more broad in the sense of having more participants from, you know, different, you know, demographics throughout the United States. I believe that uh, this study would have been a whole lot better, but being that it was only limited to the Northeast region, um, there was a few things that, you know, uh, was kind of difficult to kind of, you know, decipher and dissect, um, being that it was only, again, limited to the Northeast region. Uh, these similarities and differences, though, uh, weren't, you know, that far apart, if if at all. Um, I would say that um, the question that was posed uh, was, you know, basically, you know, what is social capital? And I believe that social capital is uh, interpreted in many different ways, depending upon, you know, how you, you know, view, you know, the benefits of being, you know, socially connected to others. Um, there's a saying, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, you know, go together. And the way to succeed in life is by, you know, building a strong, you know, connection um, with different uh, people, you know, in order to advance in life. Because again, there's another saying, it's not, you know, what you know in this life, it's, it's who you know. And um, as seen in this study, uh, when students uh, have less access to uh, social capital, their chances of doing well academically uh, drop significantly uh, compared to the counterparts, to their counterparts who may possibly, you know, come from good families, good neighborhoods, and, you know, has access to, um, you know, different resources and stuff like that. Uh, so this study basically showed that, you um, when there are differences, um, you know, there can be uh, a huge, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? When there are differences uh, in social capital, there can be, uh, you know, a significance. Uh, oh man, I can't think of the word, but there can be, you know, in when it comes to academics, um, you, you will see in academic, academically, you know, a student who may come from an urban environment, you know, and who's dealing with other things that a kid who lives in a better community is not dealing with, you will see that, um, the, you know, the student who, or the person who doesn't come from, you know, chaos and all of these different things, you know, seem to thrive a little better uh, when it comes to school. Whereas on the other hand, you know, when you're living in chaos and when you don't have access and resources to certain things, uh, you struggle a little bit. 
And it's not because uh, you're incapable. It's just uh, basically because you don't have the resources uh, to, you know, give you the opportunities to, uh, you know, to be successful. Um, in this in this study as well, though, um, it, it basically talked about uh, the differences um, in, in, you know, students who are, you know, youth leaders who live in uh, urban communities and, and, and people who are preparing to become, you know, educate, educational leaders. Um, you know, there's a guy by the name of Christopher Edmond who talks about in his book, uh, you know, for white folks that teach in the hood, how when a teacher doesn't have a connectedness uh, with their students, uh, it makes it very difficult to try to teach a class. Uh, you know, anybody could get up and, you know, write a lecture or give a lecture and stuff like that. But when you don't have that, you know, connectedness, uh, it makes it difficult to kind of, you know, uh, teach and educate students who don't look like you or who don't come from, you know, the same places that uh, you may come from. Um, when we think about social capital and how um, it plays a role in uh, geographic geographical, uh, you know, mobility and stuff like that. We see that, you know, in this particular region, which again is the Northeast region, um, that, you know, certain students still struggle uh, when it comes to the lack of support that they're receiving or, you know, the lack of uh, resources when it comes to, you know, school. Um, you know, social capital, again, is just a significant, you know, thing to have and it's very important and everybody you know should have it um because if you don't it's like not having any money if you don't have any money you don't have um ways of you know making more money or being able to save money and things of that nature so uh social capital you know to me is pretty much the same thing uh the more social capital you have in life uh the better off you will be and the less you have um you know the worse off you will be so uh during this during this study uh you know these researchers did a great job uh you know detailing everything even though the study was limited based on you know just having it in a one particular region uh these guys did a great job in you know um showing how you know when you know social capital is invested in, uh, you know, people benefit from it. Um, everybody benefits from, you know, social capital. And, you know, when students come from these urban communities, we shouldn't shun them, we shouldn't ostracize them, we shouldn't marginalize them. Um, we should still, you know, do our best uh, to try to, you know, provide uh, the social capital for them as educators. Um, I believe as a educator, uh, it is our job to, you know, make sure that we give students uh, the things that they may not have. Um, it may, you know, take a little bit more, you know, from us to do so, but I think that um, it's very important that we do it. So uh, once again, um, I, you know, think this study was uh, very well put together. Um, there were some things that could have been, uh, you know, done a little different as I explained, you know, in my paper. But uh, overall, you know, I learned a lot you know, from this paper. And, um, you know, I didn't really have much to critique um, when it came to um, the breakdown of the study and things of that nature. I just kind of wish that um, it wouldn't have been limited to one particular region. It would have, uh, you know, been expanded, you know, so we could have kind of gauged, um, you know, how social capital affects those in different uh, areas. Because like I said earlier, um, just because you're affected, uh, whether you have it or don't have it, uh, you know, in the Northeast doesn't mean that same effect is going to apply to those who live in different places. So, again, there's a lot of different factors that factor into uh, how people are going to receive things. But, again, um, I think this study was uh, thoroughly, you know, put together. And... Um, Another thing that I will say is, you know, when you use self-surveys, like how this study used, um, sometimes information can be a little skewed uh, because people may not be honest and stuff like that. But when you get a, you know, general, you know, study, 
and, and population is of, of, of folks, you know, saying something, uh, it kind of gives you an idea of uh, what to gauge. So, uh, again, overall, this was a great, uh, you know, opportunity for me to learn more and expand my thinking when it comes to social capital. And um, I hope I did a great job with this paper and with this video. So thank you. Have a great day.